Sagada in Mountain Province easily ranks as one of the top ecotourism destinations in the Philippines, cascading waterfalls, stunning caves, limestone rock formations, rustic mountain views, and authentic cultural heritage are among the tourist spots in Sagada. Indeed, it's a paradise of amazing natural, cultural, and historical wonder rolled into one. Here are the best tourist spots in Sagada. Mount Ampakao is the one of the upbeaten places to visit in Sagada. Getting here is quite easy as the trails are well established and do not run across steps terrains. Expect to walk on grassy terrains and on some parts trail on secondary forests while atop. You can see a panoramic view of Sagada Town and its surrounding mountains and fine forests. During the early morning, a sea of clouds usually forms. Kelchipan Viewpoint is the one of the iconic places to visit in Sagada. Kelchipan Viewpoint offers a spectacular view of the sunrise and an occasional sea of clouds. Best to come here during the early morning or late afternoon to catch sight of the beautiful sunrise or sunset. You can also come here during the night if you want. Marlboro Hill is the one of the hiking places to visit in Sagada. Hiking there will lead you across lush pine forests, scenic rice terraces, and limestone rock formations. You will also pass by the blue soil or blue hill. There are also good points here for viewing sunrise and sea of clouds to save a budget. It's best to come here as a group. Blue soil, it features months of limestone rock formations that turns blue when wet. Those hiking to Marlboro Hill usually follow the trail all the way to the blue soil. To reach it, expect a long trek from the town center. Although tiring, the views you see on the way will surely gratify your quest for adventure. Bumod Oak Falls has a height of more than 50 meters. It has a naturally built pool with icy cold and crystal clear water. Beautiful rock formations around the catch basin and from this you can jump or dive for an invigorating swim. To get here your hike for more or less an hour passing by Barangay Pedilisa and their beautiful rice terraces. Pongas Falls is the one of the top places to visit in Sagada. This towering twin beauty is the one of the less known tourist spots in Sagada. It is best to come here just after the rainy months to cut sides of Pongas Falls Pool Falls. There are more waterfalls to see upstream and downstream if you have more time and energy as your guide to take you to the sum of this. Bumayang Falls is the one of the remotest places to visit in Sagada. Bumayang is a multi-layer fall, each with a beautiful catch basin. To get here, you have to cross streams, jump across boulders, and wade on pools. Thus, it's only recommended for ardent adventures and extreme hikers. Oba Falls is the one of the rustic places to visit in Sagada. Sagata Blue Lagoon is a series of mini waterfalls with circular pools that reflect the blue sky. Getting here is recommended for extreme hikers and adventures. Plunge into the one of the pools to give you instant relief. Sumaging Cave is the one of the best places to visit in Sagata. If you're seeking to explore the underneath, check out Sumaging Cave. It contains fascinating stalactite and stalagmite formation as resembling different figures. Spelunking here is quite challenging and can often be dangerous if safety procedures are not properly followed. It is considered the deepest cave system in the Philippines. Lumyong Cave is known for its pile of burial coffins. It is connected with the Sumagin Cave and there is a tour package that covers both caves. 
Along the way going here, you can also glimpse of limestone mountains and hanging coffins. It is the one of the best places to visit in Sagada. Sagada Rice Terraces Sagada has its own share of magnificent landscape, though smaller but still an amazing work of art. Aside from its size, the difference between the rice terraces in Ifugao and Sagada is the material use. Banawe rice terraces are made up of compacted soil, while those in Sagada are made up of small rocks built on the top of each other. Rice Terraces of Pangaan, Northern Sagada Rice Terraces of Ankileng, Southern Sagada Rice Terraces of Balugan, South Central Sagada Rice Terraces of Kilong, Eastern Sagada Hanging Coffins, one of the cultural tourist spots in Sagada you could just wonder how the locals of the past were able to place the coffin high up on the ground. The reason the coffins were hung was due to the belief that the higher the dead were placed, the greater chance of their spirits raising the higher nature in the afterlife. St. Mary Church is the one of the religious places to visit in Sagada. It is a stone wall structure catering to the spiritual needs of the locals who are mostly Anglicans. It is the main Episcopal Church in Sagada Mountain Province. It was built in 1904 by American missionaries under the Episcopal Church in the United States, led by Rev. John Stanton, when the Philippines was opened to the American Protestant missions after the country was ceded to the United States from Spain in 1898. American historian William Henry Scott was buried in its grounds on October 10, 1993. Sagada Pottery House, one of the cultural Sagada tourist spots, advocating for the preservation of pot making in the Sagada. Here you can experience and see for yourself how the pots are made. The shop is about 1.5 kilometers from the town center and to get here ride a jeep bound to Besao and tell the driver to drop you by the pottery house. Others places to visit in Sagada